Okay, you see how I was smiling when I started the video? Do you know who told me to do that? I'm gonna give props to because she shed. Because do you know how many videos I have where like it captures this, you know, or my mouth open when I'm getting ready to talk because it starts like mid-sentence. So now I'm just gonna start my videos like this. <laughs> anyway, just thought of that when I was watching and I'm making that smiling face. All right, guys, I have a bread and butter bolo video for you guys. 27 bread and butter bolos coming your way. All right. Um, I'm loving the bread and butter. It's a lot of bread and butter. And I'll tell you the reason why. The reason why is because it's not garage sale season. And that is when I really go out and I source. So I'm listing a lot of stuff that is kind of at home or that I'm picking up at thrift stores. And I'm trying to be more selective when I'm sourcing so I'm not buying as much. And I just have a ton to list, let's just face it. And I've been trying to fit in selling, like listing my clothing. So I'm not getting a whole lot of new big money bolos up. I do have a big money bolo video coming your way. I'm gonna work on it tonight. But um, I have two bread and butter bolo videos I'm working on tonight. I'm like, wow, I got a lot of bread and butter. But you know what? I sold quite a bit last month and um, it was a mix, a good mix. But um, that bread and butter, I'll tell you, it adds up. It sure does. All right, you guys, you ready to get started? I've talked enough about bread and butter adding up. So uh, Mountain Man Treasure, I was watching his live show earlier tonight and he's like, I don't do a lot of bread and butter, but I do a lot of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I mean, I wonder what he considers potatoes, like $20, $30, you think? Because he did say he sells a lot of $20, $30, $40 items. So I have some potatoes in this video also. Okay, here we go. And go check out Mountain Man Treasure if you guys haven't already. He is fantastic. And he's been featured on my channel um, a few times. And he's been on my live show. And I'm going to have him come back because he's awesome. All right. I need to get my screen share up. What is happening here? I'm distracted. Here we go. All right, are you ready? Now this first one, I'm super excited. This just happened tonight. I sold this frog and do you wanna know why I'm excited? Because one of my subscribers bought it. Yay! It makes me so happy. Um, so they made me an offer of $20 and with their offer, they left me this nice, nice note that, that they just found my channel. Um, I think it was, they said this week and that they love my content and they wanted this frog because it glows. So how cool is that? And I have a whole bunch of these frogs listed, but um, they offered me 20 and I took it. And this was, do you guys know the bunnies that I bought that I've been selling for like $100 each? Crazy bunnies. Um, I bought these frogs at the same sale and these frogs led to the purchase of the bunnies because I was gathering up all these cute little frogs and they're like, well, we have some bunnies inside that are, you know, similar that look similar. And I'm like, okay, I'll look at them. Had no clue what they were. But anyway, long story short, I sold a frog and I'm excited. So $20 on this one, the frogs, mm, I bought a whole bunch of them. It was like a table full. I don't remember how many exactly, but oh, I, I don't have much in it. Maybe less than 50 cents. So definitely a good turnover. I was very happy with the $20 offer and I hope she likes her little glowing frog. All right, the next item is these Beverly Hills 90210 doll stands. I picked these up at a garage sale. Again, it was a bulk buy. Um, I sold them for best offer of 16. Let me make sure I have this on screen share. I'm pretty certain I do, but yeah. Okay. I didn't want to get halfway through the video and realize that you guys were just watching me talk to the monitor um, or screen. Is it called a monitor or a screen? What is it called? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, okay. So these sold for $10. I took a best offer of 10. I'm like, you know what? I have like nothing in them. i bulk buy Barbie purchase. I've sold a bunch of stuff from the lot. But if you see these and they're cheap, a lot of times they'll just be mixed in with Barbie stuff. But you can definitely sell them. I mean, 10 bucks plus shipping, that's great bread and butter. The next item is this little pottery chick bird planter. Um, it's marked USA 502 on the bottom. Um, 
If you follow me on Instagram, it's bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers on Instagram. You would have seen I did a short video on this. I purchased this from Donatella Bodolino's auction. It was a part of the $25 box lot that I purchased. And I have a video of the unboxing if you guys want to check that out. But I sold this best offer of $16 plus shipping. Again, by the time I sorted that box out, I I mean, I probably had 50 cents to a dollar in each item. So I was very happy to take $16 and move on. It did have, um, let me see if you can see it. See it kind of like a hairline crack, not a big deal. Um, probably could have gotten a little more for it if it didn't have that, but I, I was good with 16. Magnabilities. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. It's a, I don't know if it's like a direct sales thing or not but they're like these little inserts that are magnetic and they fit into the ring. They have necklaces and other types of jewelry, but um, I've done really well with this brand. Now it's not high dollar, it's definitely bread and butter, but be on the lookout. I found these at a garage sale in a bulk buy and I sold this for $15 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage antique SPA eyeglasses. They're round, they're linen style. I always put linen style for um, if they're round glasses like this. I think that helps in the search engine. Uh, I did take a best, or nope, I sold these full asking price of $22 plus shipping. Some of these do much better than 22. Um, it, it just really depends on the condition and, you know, what they look like. Like, see the um, arms is that what they're called arms of the glasses they're kind of they're kind of not in the best shape so yeah 22 dollars. i was happy with that garage sale i paid about three bucks for them a lot of 15 hot wheels monster trucks these are monster trucks some of these are valuable on their own i do recommend that you take the time to look them up because i have sold some individually for a decent amount of money and when i say that i don't mean like hundreds of dollars. I mean, a great bread and butter item by itself. So maybe you might get $15 for one, but, um, like the Ninja Turtles do pretty good. I'm trying to think of the other ones, but Ninja Turtles be on the lookout for those, but some of them are kind of rare. So, I mean, or you can just lot them up like I do if I don't feel like looking them up, but I sold these for a best offer of $30 plus shipping. I picked these up at garage sales for next to nothing. So we'll say I had three to five dollars in this lot. The next item are these vintage Halloween greeting cards. Um, it's a bunch of different ones. Some are Susie Zoos, some are Dale Teeny, Halloweenies, Current. Um, this was in a, a tote that I purchased that was a bunch of Halloween items. I, I did not pay much for them at all. I'm guessing I probably have less than a buck in all of these because again, it was a bundle deal. deal so I took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. The next item is this little Annie doll. I got her for probably 50 cents, I think. At the most, I would have paid a dollar. I got her at a garage sale and I sold her for $13.50 and the buyer paid the shipping. Okay, so these are vintage Topper Dawn dolls. I have two pair and then one is a mismatch. But you can see how they have the holes in the bottom. So that's what you're looking for. They're very tiny. Um, but yeah, Topper Dawn. And I was listing other Barbie shoes. You can see them in the background. Uh, but I, I got an offer, I'm sorry, one bid of $9.99 on these and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this National Honor Society member high school pin. You know, I, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. I really didn't think it would sell, to be honest with you guys. I think it went through auction once and didn't sell. It's one of those things that kind of takes the right buyer. But I ended up selling it for $9.99 plus shipping, which is amazing. Um, it was in a lot of stuff that I got. So I probably have a nickel in it. So pretty good margins, you know. Mary Kay lip liner. This came from a garage sale with my bulk buy of Mary Kay stuff. I think it ended up being like 33 or 38 cents per item. I sold this for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. Discontinued Mary Kay is a fantastic find. Certain colors um what's the one downtown brown i think it's called fig does pretty good there's some colors that do really really well if you just search mary Kay lipstick discontinued high to low you will see the colors that do well 
The next item are these vintage rhinestone tiaras. I purchased these at a garage sale. It was a bulk buy, so I probably have less than a buck in both of these. Um, these were broken. They had issues. They needed repaired. Um, I just noted that and they still sold. See how it's pulling away. I mean, that's probably a pretty easy fix. I took a best offer of $22 on these and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are the Spode plates. I have sold 10 of these are, uh, I think ranging between 12 and $13 a piece. So in the fronts and the backs and then in the description I just put that you will get one of the plates shown that I am showing the fronts and the backs because if you look here I don't think I've told you guys this in the other videos they are numbered and some of the stamps are they have like a slight variation so I wanted people to see you know I can't guarantee which plate they're going to get when it's a multi quantity listing you know so it's like you will get one of these. Hope that makes sense. And so far I've had no one complain like, oh, I didn't get the one that's marked in yellow or whatever. Everything's been good. Okay, a member, or not a member. Well, she might be a member of my Facebook group, but she is definitely a subscriber. Sylvia from my YouTube channel, one of my subscribers bought these remotes and she is going to resell them on eBay. So I am looking forward to hearing how she does. She bought these for $15 and she paid the shipping and I did not look these up because I don't want to list remotes. I just, I'm one of those people where if I don't feel like that urge to like do it, I just bulk it up and sell it as a lot. And I am known to do that, but I also will part out an entire um, Ninja Turtle play set. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it or a connects roller coaster thing just to see if I can make more money. So I, it's kind of random how I figure out how I'm doing things. So you never know what you'll find in my store. All right, the next item, and thank you Sylvia so much for your purchase of the remotes. I appreciate you so much and your feedback was very kind. All right, the next person bought this. Um, oh, I was like, why is it counting down? because I still have four available. So, okay, I picked these Power Ranger um, T-Rex Battle Zord. I, I don't know, I, I did the whole Toys R Us thing and I kind of regret it because um, they're, not, they're not selling fast, they're not selling great. I have sold, I think two or three of these. I sold one on Mercari and maybe, maybe I've only sold two, but I have four left. I took, well, this one sold for $28.80 plus shipping. I think that's part of the problem is the shipping is so high because of the dimensions of the package, but I can't do anything about that. So I am willing to take offers on this item because I know the shipping's higher. So if anybody's interested, come make me an offer. All right, and put Bolo Buddies in the offer so that I know that um, you're from my channel or my Facebook group, and I'll definitely work with you guys. The next item is, and I don't remember what I paid for the Power Ranger thing, sorry. Um, the wig, I think it was 90% off of whatever the retail price was. Okay, so this vintage Halloween costume wig, it's a vampire wig, paper magic group, and you know, it's, it's kind of ratty. You know, his hair's a little messy, but it's got that, you know, kind of V in the front. I got this at a garage sale and it was a bulk buy, so probably less than a buck. I sold it for $13.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This um, Jake and the Neverland Pirates um, costume. I have one left. If anyone's interested, feel free to make me an offer. I took a best offer on this of $12.75. The buyer paid shipping and I got this at a garage sale for $1. The next item is one of my like secret bolos. It's not really a secret, but not a lot of people know about it. And I pick them up all the time at garage sales. This one, actually, I took a best offer of 30. I mean, you can sometimes get 40, 50, 60 bucks out of these, just depending on your patience. And um, some of them are still new in the box. This one seemed 
like it the the sticker was peeling so i marked it pre-owned i'll see if i can find the picture right there that's why i thought maybe it was pre-owned it was in excellent condition other than that um so yeah i took a best offer of 30 and the buyer paid shipping again i have sold these in the past for more and i always pick them up when i see them as seen on TV, if you guys see that at a garage sale, look it up because some of that as seen on TV stuff does really well. So this vintage lot of eight Christmas reindeer, they're just like a hard plastic ornament or display. I sold these for $19.99. The buyer paid shipping. I picked these up at um, a thrift store. It was in a bag of just like random Christmas ornaments and like little figurines and stuff like that. And I believe it was 75% off that day, but don't quote me on that. So I don't have much in it, maybe a buck. This little guy was that same lot from that same thrift store. And these are, it's an, a vintage elf gnome Santa like guy and he's an ornament. It says Japan on the bottom and it's, I believe it's putts. So it's like cardboard. I, I don't know. I got a bunch of houses too. I need to research a little more on what exactly putts means. But um, the putts stuff does pretty good. So this little guy sold for $9.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And I had like, you know, maybe a quarter in it. All right. These are fun. These are the Midwest Importers Halloween Haunted House gift box punch outs. And I don't know if they're vintage, but I don't. I don't know. I didn't, I don't think they had a date on them. Let me see. Guessing these are from the late nineties to early 2000 because, and the reason I was guessing that is because I purchased a whole bunch of Halloween stuff and most of it was from that time frame. These again are, you know, it's just three little like gift boxes. You could probably put cookies or something in them. I don't know. I sold these for $13 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Anything vintage Halloween or even Halloween related that's different. I mean, it's kind of got that die cut look to it. Definitely a good thing to list separately. All right, the sleepyhead Barbie. Again, another thing I posted on my Instagram when I got her. Her eyes open and shut, but she has that thing on her head. I think it's like melted, maybe. Um, her makeup is not great on her lips. And her body is gone. And I sold her for $19.50 and the uh, buyer paid shipping. I think that one went internationally, if I remember correctly. These vintage Barbie squishy orange Japan boots. They will say Japan on the bottom. They are vintage and they feel squishy. And use that as a key word because that helps people find them, but you can see they say Japan. I took a best offer of $8.25 plus shipping for these shoes because, hey, they're Barbie shoes and I'll take $8 all day long. Okay, these good nights underwear, um, they're they're like diapers, big girl underwear, and I sold these for twelve dollars. I picked them up at a garage sale, I think, for a buck. There's only eleven in the pack. These are not vintage, so um, the vintage diapers are the ones that go for big money. But a dollar and a twelve, and the buyer paid shipping is still great. These buttons, okay. These have been sitting a while. I could have probably held out for $10, but somebody offered me $4.50 and they paid the shipping. And I was like, you got it. I made money. They got their buttons. They were happy. And yeah, is it big money? No, that's a really small, be on the lookout, but it's just buttons. And I purchased these in a bulk lot. So again, you know, next to nothing for them. So I probably profited 350, 4 bucks. So that's that's great, you know? I mean, that's an extra $4. I can buy a sandwich with that, right? All right. So this vintage strolls, I think that's how you say it, beer tap handle from Detroit, Michigan. I picked this up at a garage sale and I bought a bunch of them and it averaged out to be I think $2 and like 60 some cents each. And it's just a beer tap. I had a whole bunch of them I was listing at the same time. And I paid, or I'm sorry, I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. This just sold tonight and I was like, I just want to sell it. And I picked it up for about three bucks, I think, at a garage sale. Not the original box. This is a reproduction, a Barbie doll 35th anniversary reproduction doll of the 1959 doll. 
So um, I took a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping and I was very happy for it to go. But I just bought that one this summer. So it wasn't like it was up a long time. And if I would have priced it lower, it probably would have moved quicker. But I am really, really bad at um, going in and reducing my prices because I don't have time. So guys, go check out my store. And if you want to, if you see something you like, don't be afraid to make me an offer. And um, I'll see what I can do. All right. So my link is in the description of the video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And wave back. All right, you guys. Have a great night. And thanks for watching.